Welcome to the Markup File Data Importing video, part of the Introduction to IHS Harmony video series. This video will introduce the markup file type, demonstrate importing a markup file into IHS Harmony, and discuss the data importing options with regards markup files. A markup file is an annotated file that has a specific formatting and contains tags to identify its contents. As markup files have this specific format, IHS Harmony is able to recognize the various data types and automatically import that data into the proper location within the IHS Harmony database. Markup files are commonly used to import production and attribute data, but can also carry additional data, such as static pressure information. There are several markup file types that Harmony is capable of importing. This table shows a list of the most common. It shows the file type name, the file extension, and some common sources. Both IHS Acumap and IHS Enerdeck are capable of outputting several of these markup file types. I'm going to begin with a new Harmony project. Importing a markup file can be done by selecting one of the two import buttons from the toolbar or by accessing the same commands from the File menu, Import dropdown. You have the option to import a file as normal or import the file as a group. The only difference between these two modes is that importing the file as a group will create a custom group with the name of the imported file that contains the wells from this import. I'm going to import the file as a group for this demonstration. The import dialog will open requiring you to navigate to the import file location. I'm going to import a file from the examples installed with IHS Harmony. As a markup file can carry well surface and bottom hole locations as latitude and longitude, the mapping data used by the markup file must be specified. This particular file was exported from IHS Acumap using the NAD83 datum. Select NAD83 and click OK to complete the import. Referring back to the different import modes, import file and import file as a group, I imported this file as a group, and therefore a group was created with the file name and containing the imported wells. If I had selected to import the file, the same wells and data would be imported, but the well list would only exist in the hierarchy entity viewer and no group would be created. The markup file can carry attribute and production data. We can see that this data is imported by selecting a few wells and viewing the attributes in the attributes tab and the production data in the diagnostics plot. Note that there are global options related to the markup file import. These can be accessed from the cog button in the toolbar or from the options under the tool menu. In the options dialog under importing are the rules that can be set instructing Harmony how to deal with null, empty, or missing data. The updating data category contains the rules for how Harmony will protect data currently in the project when importing data. Production data can be protected from overwrite or open to overwriting of existing data and also allow new data, or it can be protected and only append data after the last production date existing in the Harmony project. Static pressure and fluid analysis tests can be either protected or open to have data imported for dates that currently have data assigned. And attributes and properties can be protected from overwrite and only allow new attribute data, or they can be open to be overwritten and allow new data. And the last option is to discard and not import any of the attribute data from the markup file. This concludes the markup file data importing video, which introduced the markup file, 
demonstrated how to import this file into Harmony and discussed the software options related to importing markup files.